How are we going everyone? Now, I'm outside of my little garden table here. I've got some bluestone, I've got some hydrated lime. You can see I'm holding our easy hand sprayer and I've got the remnants of our last fungicide or disease control pack uh, mixture that I've put in here. I've got a kettle, I've got a watering can and some liquid fertilizers and a spoon. So what do you think I'm gonna be doing here? Well, I'm gonna be talking about blockages. And I don't refer to the human blockages, but rather our easy hand sprayer or any sprayer, in fact. If you've got, you may not have our sprayer. This is the swivel nozzle. Uh, people have been emailing and asking me about the, the fungicide that they use. Sometimes they've got our product, which is the disease control plaque, the, the blue and the hydrated, or you've bought a retail package like Coside, uh, copper oxychloride, fungus fighter, things like that. There's plenty out there in the industry. Check them all out. They're all very much the same, different branding, just like ours. Ours is a lot cheaper and all that stuff. But the problem we're having here is people are mixing it into the sprayer and it's blocking. They're finding after two or three pumps, that's working still, there you go. That's been sitting in there for how long, but it's working and it's dripping now because there's not much left in it. Now, the reason it blocks is because it's not dissolving properly. So what we're gonna do is a little demonstration here. Now, I've got two little buckets here, two little, this is black grip bucket, one and a half kilo ones, no labels. We're gonna put cold water in one and hot water in the other. In actual fact, it should be warm water, lukewarm water. So let's start with the cold. This is straight from the tap. I haven't got a thermometer to show you. Now, we're only putting about, you know, half a cup of water in there, in each one. You don't need to put a lot in there. You'll see the steam coming out of this, hopefully. Yep. That is, you can see it's steaming up. See, it's fogged up on the outside. Now, we're just going to cool it down a little bit because I don't want it super hot. It doesn't have to be hot water. It just needs to be lukewarm. Now, why I'm doing this demo is to show you that in the cold water, it does take long for it to dissolve. That's the blue stone and even the hydrated lime. And that's half the reason why you get blockages in your sprayer. So let's put a teaspoon of this stuff in here. Now this is meant to go into one litre at the end. So that's the cold water. Now let's do the same here, see what happens. No difference, hey? <laughs> now let's mix them. So you can see it's settling still at the bottom there. See it? Keep stirring it, keep stirring. So how long are we stirring now? About five seconds, 10 seconds. Now, if I do that osmosis stir, look at that sitting in the middle. Okay, so we've got a pile there in the middle, hasn't dissolved. Shake it around, see if it dissolves. No, it settles down there at the bottom again. Let's try the hot water. Is that dissolved? Well, it's dissolved a lot better. By comparison, have a look. We've got a little bit in the middle, but you can see that I've stirred this a lot more and I'm going to keep stirring this one, which is the cold water. Settling down in the middle again, there it is. See that there in the middle? We've got a little bit there. That's gone. Now we can add some hydrated lime as well. So you can see automatically how much better it is when you use hot water to start with. Now you don't want it to stay hot when you add it to the spray, so obviously the balance of that's going to be cold water to cool it down. So now let's put the hydrated lime. We normally put two teaspoons heaped into this on top, like that. And we'll do the same here. One, two. Let's see how this goes dissolving. Okay, we've got lumpy bits, lumpy bits. It's getting there. But the trick to this is also, well, the most important part here is letting it sit for a little bit. All right, let's go here. Look at the difference in colour already. Got a couple of bits there. So that automatically shows you that is blending better. It's actually dissolving better. Cold water. See that? It's cloudy. See the cloudiness? See that? Look at that. See that there? All those lumpy bits? They're not dissolving. This is why I say to you, when you mix this at the beginning, always mix it with hot water or warm water at least. Now we've still got cloudy bits in here too, but it looks like it's dissolving better. So anyway, we haven't shaken it. We've literally just stirred it. I'm gonna lift these up so we can see a cross angle of this. Yeah, white bits on that side, far less on this side here. Obviously the, the hot water is making it dissolve a lot better. So if you're gonna make your own mix, whether you're buying a product already made or 
you're going to get our disease control pack. Make sure you dilute it in warm to hot water and then break it down with cold water once you're ready to put it into the spray bottle. And that way you can save yourself any blockages. And another quick tip on this, if for whatever the reason you do get a blockage on it, because they do come with a filter base at the bottom and it's called a filter net, but nevertheless that's what it is. If you take this off, what you can do is submerge this in the sink, in the kitchen sink or bath, actually the laundry sink better, submerge it in warm to hot water and pump it while it's underwater, literally submerged in water. So you can get the hot water running through the pipeline to break down any solids that may be caught up in there, just like we've done here with the uh, with the hot water and the uh, solution there as well. So there's my tip on that one there. Obviously the difference is hot water works better. Start with that and cool it down. Now get ready for this one. I don't remember the lady's name. She sent it to me this morning, or yesterday morning, sorry. She sent me a little tip, a little bit of a, a pimp up on our liquid gold. Have a look at this. What do you reckon? <laughs> So if you need to measure and you're worried about spillage and all that, the old sauce bottle or mustard bottle, perfect colour. Look at that, matches perfectly. Just put it in. There we are. <laughs> you can measure it if you like or you can just squeeze it out like that so you don't waste too much and never over pour, that's for sure. And just seal it tight again. Now our bottles don't come with that obviously, but if you do have an old sauce bottle or mustard bottle, don't throw it out, you know, you repurpose the cap especially, save it for your liquid gold and EK Butch or any other fertiliser you've got in the kitchen cupboard or in the laundry cupboard or in the gardening cupboard. One of those cupboards is going to have surely your fertiliser in it. Now folks, check out our website. Today's the last day you can get up to 50% off everything we have on our website. Every product is discounted to clear. It's a three day sale that we had the long weekend, up to 50% off. Don't miss out, there's no coupon code. Just log in, check it all out. You'll see the price discount there automatically. Shop and save so you can enjoy a wonderful garden and get ready soon because we're going to go into our spring seed plant in the next couple of weeks. Get a heat mat, the giant one you saw the other day. From Eva Silly, Maresi. Check it all out at vasilisgarden.com. <laughs> <laughs>